How you doing, folks? Lenny back here again. Uh, we're going to be doing some more BP in the net. So, um, I can't get to a field at the moment, so which kind of sucks, but eh, what can you do? Um, this test is going to be very fun, and I think very interesting. Um, a few weeks back, I went to the field, did some hitting, and did some fielding drills and whatnot with my buddy Gary, who you will have seen in, I think, the last two videos that I did. Uh, granted, it's been since, like, August since I've done one, um, and I apologize for that. <laughs> Ideas plus weather and injuries that I've been dealing with. Um, so this is going to be interesting. While I have access to it, we're going to be testing how much of a difference does physical bat weight make for power. Now, I don't have a pocket radar. I'm going to tell you out, guys outright right now. Disclaimer, straight away. I don't have a pocket radar. This is not going to be the most scientific thing in the world. It's going to be about player feel, player perception. Um, when I can do this test on a field, we'll have a little more quote-unquote scientific look into it. But until then, just kind of have to grin and bear it with me. I apologize in advance. Um, but while I have access to this capability, I'm going to do this test. Um, so what do I mean by while I have access to this capability? Well, uh, a few weeks ago, like I mentioned, I did some hitting and BP and whatnot on, a field, on the field with a couple of the guys from my league and my buddy Gary. <laughs> And we came to the conclusion that my exit velocity right now is too low. So we decided to try putting me into a 27-ounce bat. Now, pretty much everything Gary hits is 27. He has two, two or three 27s and two 28s. I think one of his bats is actually 28 and a half, but whatever. Um, so I currently have access to one of his 27s. That beautiful thing right there, well, used and abused beautiful thing, is Gary's Mike and Freak's Platinum. This is the Freak Platinum Max Load. Uh, it's a 3427. Yep, 3427. There's the, there's the knob so y'all can see. Um, I think this is the one from like two years, like last year, two years ago. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to ask Gary. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is testing this versus my KP23, which you'll have seen at some point in time or another, and my Fireflex OG, which again, you'll have seen at some point in time or another. The only major differences between these three bats is barrel length. The Freak Platinum has a 14-inch barrel. The KP23 has a 12-inch barrel. And the uh, Fireflex OG is a 12.75 inch barrel. Both, all three of them are end loaded, half ounce end load. The only other major difference, well, okay, there's two other major differences. Major difference number one is barrel length. Major difference number two is the Freak Platinum is 27 ounces. The FFOG, the Fireflex OG, is 25 and a half, and the KP23 is 26. So there's an ounce and a half difference physically, bat weight wise, between the three. The only other difference, and whether this one makes a difference, whether this is th this big a deal or not, I don't know. Uh, best guess, probably it does, but far be it for me to understand that. I'm I don't understand it as far as most people do. Uh, Gary's bat has probably 400 swings on it. Mine combined, I don't even think touched that. <laughs> I know the I know the freak the KP23 the freak KP23 is right around 180 590 now, and the OG is probably like right around 150 160. Rough guess. So, that's going to be interesting. I'm only going to hit 
one bucket, 13 balls. So I have a one Easton, or yeah, one worth Super Gold Dot Extreme. It is Classic M. Um, and then the rest of my bucket, as usual, is the rest of my Classic M's. Is at, at, There's a Classic M in there, and then the others are the C-Lock Compression um, 44375 Super Gold Dots. I don't know why. I love these softballs. They're just that good. Um... So, on that note, let's get into it. Uh, we're already almost six minutes into this video. It took me six minutes to figure all that out. <laughs> so, let's get into this video. I'm going to actually start with the middle weight of the two. I'm going to start with the KP23. Okay, it'll have to do. Okay, so seven minutes in, we're finally getting into this, as I almost bust my butt. Um, this is my Mikan Freak KP23, uh, Kyle Pearson Signature Series bat. Uh, you guys have seen this a mess load of times. It is U Trip ISA NSA approved. Uh, 34 26 34 inches 34 inches 26 ounces um half ounce end load you guys know the deal i mean at this point i would hope if you're new to my videos go check out the others um feel free to comment please keep the comments you know safe for work we'll say or, you know, if you're gonna, if you have something to say, if you have something to say, ask yourself, would you say it to your mother? But, then again, probably shouldn't say that, because some people would say some, have said, have, would probably say some pretty rude things to their moms. Okay, so, let's try that again. If you want to leave a comment on this video, or any of my other videos, please be constructive, Please keep it on the topic at hand, i.e. hitting, softball, you know, ask me my opinions on bats or whatever. I'm not the baseball bat bros and I'm not the, so the slow pitch bat bros, trust me. I love those guys, but I ain't those guys. So, but I have a little knowledge here and there and that's mostly just because of the guys I play ball with. Um updated update on the team uh season over regular season over uh we went 20 and 12 which i honestly i, I i'll take the 20 wins but the 12 losses some of those shouldn't have happened but things happen can't change the past so free kp23 like i said 34 26 this is the middle weight of the three bats I'll go get that in a minute. <laughs> Whoopsie. Eat a ball, silly. All right. 
Let's try it again without the oops. And I almost tried to do it again. Okay. I either gotta move the ball, move the tee back or move the net back or something because I'm trying to hit the ball over the moon. For whatever reason, I not get good position. Yeah. So, three swings and two really crappy results. Well, one decent one. I think if I'd actually cut that on a pitch that would have gone somewhere I'm not saying far but somewhere you know and in all fairness I am working on trying to keep my weight back and you know drive forward but I'm also still coming off a knee injury so how well that goes is remains to be seen. Um, but as I've said before, I love the KP23. Um, Kyle and Mike and really knew what they were doing when they created this. It's so, so good. If you want a short barrel with a half ounce end load, I couldn't recommend this thing any more than I already have. I love this bat. <sighs> kind of got on top of that one, so it cut it like it should. But at least it didn't go over the net. And no, my net is not pegged into the ground. As hard as the balls have been hitting the net anyway, the pegs wouldn't matter. <laughs> um, so, why am I doing this test? Like I said, I, I was on a field doing some BP and whatnot, like two, like two, three weeks ago or whatever. And I was hitting with my stuff, hitting with my bat. Now, it wasn't this one, it was my Fireflex, so my Fireflex 3 Balanced, um, which you guys will have seen in another video, in plenty of other videos, actually. Um, and, you know, my drive wasn't there, my pop, my pop wasn't there, it just wasn't you know, wasn't good. Gary and the other one of the other guys that we were with goes, maybe you should try something a little heavier, 27 ounces. I said, they were like, what bat do you swing? What weight bat do you swing? 26. And I was like, okay. They were like, okay, well, let's try 27. Tried 27 and started really busting the daylights out of the ball. So I don't know. Maybe there's something to this. I you're just as good as that. But again, this test here is entirely just perception. Oh, I tried to hit that one to the moon. I do really wish I could put that peg, put the pegs in the ground, and it actually would stay put. <laughs> yes, I'm in long sleeves. It is a little chilly out. It's like 58 currently Fahrenheit. That is obviously, folks. Um. It's actually kind of a nice day, so even though it is a little chilly, it's not terrible.
I love this bat. This bat is so good and so consistent. Alright, so there's one ball left in the bucket. And then I'll pause it here and reload. Okay, so that's just a start right now, and that's the KP23. I am going to do an afterthoughts at the end of all of this, and you will also see a special guest on the channel, my dad. So that'll be interesting. And I'll explain why he's in this as well, when he gets here. <laughs> so for right now, I will be back. All right, back again. So, same video, round two here. Uh, round two is going to feature the Fireflex OJ. Now, most people would probably, most people are probably going to ask, "Oh, well, why don't you? Why didn't you go to the Freak Platinum after the KP?" Um, I actually want to save the Freak for last because it is 27 ounces and. You know, I've been swinging, so this is a half ounce drop from the KP23. So this is 20. This bat here, my Fireflex OJ, is 25 and a half ounces. So going from the KP23 to this is only a half ounce drop. But going from this to the Freak Platinum is an ounce and a half step up and if that if anything will bring out that perception of power uh, added power so to speak from a heavier bat more it would be that half ounce jump instead or instead it, that it would be that ounce and a half jump instead of just an ounce jump so, or at least, you know, I took physics. That the, the math to that makes sense to me, at least. So, here we go. <laughs> I made that quick and easy. That didn't take eight minutes, or ten minutes, whatever the hell it took. So, again, Fireflex OG, about 150 swings. Rough guess. Um, I like this bat a lot. I just wish I could hit it better when I played it, when I was actually playing ball. like about this bat? Everything. I mean, the weight is fantastic, especially if you're in one of those long tournaments where you're playing basically all day. To be able to drop to something like this is... It, it's a godsend, really. It's funny with this bat. I can hit this bat in BP all day long. 
off the tee, you know, BP practice sessions on the field. I can hit this bat like it's nobody's business. I took this bat to, I don't know, eight games this year before the KP was broken in enough. <laughs> and I don't know, it's just like, I don't know, I can't, it, I can't get it to perform when I play. And that might just be pitching, but I don't know. left in the bucket and then of course we will do it again reload and do it again this time you know that the next time with the free clap and again thanks Gary for letting me borrow it <laughs> I promise you'll get it back in one piece Alright, so this is the last ball. The nice thing is I haven't tried to hit one to the moon yet. Alright, so that was the Fireflex OG. Um, I'm very intrigued to see what happens when I take in, I bring in the fruit clap. All right, again, I'll be right back while I reload my bucket and get ready. All right, so we're back one more time here, or at least for my part of this. <laughs> um, this is going to be the Freak Platinum Max Load. This is Gary's... Uh, Number two bat in his arsenal, uh, which is funny that he let me borrow it. Uh, this is 34 inches, 27 ounces, half ounce end load, just like the other two. Biggest difference, other than the physical weight, is the barrel. This is a 14 inch barrel compared to the other two, which are 12 and 12.75 respectively. Um, again, I'm going to hit, you know. My 13 buckets, yeah, my 13 balls. Um, this is gonna be fun. I think for a cup, for a number of reasons, this bat is nasty hot for starters. Um, and 
two. This thing's got something like 400 swings on it. Rough guess. And you know, and that was Gary's, Gary telling me that. So th this thing's been around the block a bit. Um, the, my other two combined don't even touch this, which is hilarious. So we'll see. Um, I don't know if that no, if the break in of that many swings will make a huge difference in this testing, but I don't know. That's something somebody in the comments would actually have to tell me to be completely honest. And again. If you're going to leave a comment on this video, or any of my videos, keep it constructive. And, you know, keep it chill. And keep it on topic, please. Now this, you won't actually see me rotate the bat as well. Because this bat, like I said, has something like 400 swings on it. Okay, that's a difference. <laughs> that jumped. Wow. I mean, I rolled over that and that thing jumped. Um. Again, this is all about perception and feel. And y'all could see that one. Okay, that one's not necessarily the greatest. Actually, that's what sucks. So I may take one extra swing just because of that. But that remains to be seen. So right away I can tell you there's definitely a difference going from 25 and a half to 27. Not just it pop, but let me tell you, my arms are already tired and I've only hit four balls. This is when I wish I had one of those nets that actually had the little canopy to keep the ball from going over the sucker, but oh well. think so far. You know, what's that? Three, four, five, and the one in the woods is six. You know, slightly less than halfway through the bucket, technically halfway through, through the bucket because I got one sitting on the tee. Um, what do I think so far? I think the weight, that extra ounce and a half, becomes a little more noticeable as you continue to swing. Um, perceptively, does it add power, or can it help me add, is it helping me add exit velocity? Um, honestly, let me barrel one, and <laughs> I'll, let, I'll actually tell you, because I haven't really barreled one yet, so, you know, if I could barrel one, I'll tell you. That's the barrel I was looking for. Let's see if I can do it again. Okay. Not quite as good, but I'll take it.
that one was barreled. This, so the extra ounce, or extra ounce and a half in the case going from the OG to this, how much of a difference does it make? Uh, I'm going to say plenty. I mean, if I had to rate my power or my exit velocity on a scale of 10 from the other two to this one, I would give the KP23 maybe a 7. I'd give the OG maybe a, I don't know, maybe a six and a half. This, as it stands right now, would be getting an eight or a nine. This thing is hot. Oh, that was crap. As I say that. <laughs> So, two more balls, and my dad showed up, so that's cool. So you'll get to see his part next. I'll tell you what, you barrel a 27 ounce bat, I don't give a sh who you are. That thing launches. I mean, granted it's perception and feel, but, I mean, y'all can see how hard that ball's hitting the net. So that's 13. And some interesting results. Be right back with part two. My dad. This is going to be fun. 